on a foggy day at Terry Fox Field, coined by our broadcast team as the second Fog Bowl behind the famous 1950 Grey Cup. This is the final homestand of the year for the clan as they host the visiting Humboldt State Lumberjacks. Humboldt would score three touchdowns in the first half to go into the dressing room up 24 to seven. Skipping ahead now into the third quarter, quarterback Casey Mintz looks to hand the ball off to lead rush man Ricky Arduli, but the ball slips free and SFU recovers. From out of the shotgun, Trey Wheeler looks down the middle and finds Bobby Pospisil wide open, leaving them on the one yard line. From there, Wheeler decides to take it himself, getting the clan off to a great start 45 seconds into the second half. This cuts the score to 24-14. After another SFU touchdown, Lumberjacks hand the ball off to Ricky Arduli, and as he cuts towards the sideline, the ball is hit loose by Easy, and he's off. Again out of the shotgun, Trey Wheeler has time and looks far downfield for his main man, Lamar Durant. Durant would fight his way into the end zone, and just like that, the clan lead the Lumberjacks 34 to 24. As the fog settles back in, Wheeler looks to pass on fourth and long, but is picked off by Webb, and he goes 81 yards for the major. This gamble would cost the clan, and Humboldt's right back in it. Casey Mintz on fourth and long situation of his own, decides to air it out for a wide open Darcy on the sidelines, and he would make no mistake, running the ball in for the touchdown. The score would put the Lumberjacks back on top 37 to 34. Needing a field goal to tie in the late stages of the game, Wheeler turns once again to his main receiver, Durant. Look at Stephanie, has to go through his reads, airs this one out, he's got a wide open man downfield, it's Durant! Humboldt State would have two sets of downs from inside the SFU's 10-yard line, but the clan's defense shuts them down in the final seconds to take the victory by a score of 41-37. to I was able to catch up with a few of the seniors who played their final game on Terry Fox Field. So take me through the game. Big win at home. How do you feel? Uh, it feels great to get the W. Uh, I mean, it was a couple years ago these guys were setting records on us and, you know, putting up big points, so it was good to get a, a win. Now, you guys were down quite by quite a bit going into the halftime. What did Coach Johnson say in the locker room to really get you motivated and push you towards the win? Uh, I mean, he just said what everyone, like, what everyone in the locker room said. I mean, we just got to come out. That wasn't a, our first half wasn't a half of clan football. I mean, we came out soft and then just, I don't know, decided to crank it up in the second half. I think uh, over the last uh, four years that we've been here, the seniors, like, we've... Uh, faced a lot of adversity and uh, credit to Coach Johnson, he's always in the, in the darkest times when we were losing games, 66-20, he would always tell us, celebrate adversity and that's what we did today. We just kept on fighting back and that's what he said in the, in the locker room in the halftime, just like I, I think Coach Jay uh, made sure that people don't give up and I think uh, you saw that today. I think just the whole defense played well. We didn't play too great coming out of the gate there, and then, I don't know, we kind of hit a point, and we were like, we, we knew we couldn't let them score anymore. So, I mean, we, we were all firing and, you know, just turned over the ball. Yeah. Arguably one of the hardest fought games of the year. Definitely. Uh, how did you guys push through the fog and really drive forward for the W? You know, we've been practicing in this all week, and uh, they're from Northern California, so I imagine they would have been too. So, uh, we were on even footing, you know, I'm sorry, I'm just lost for words right now, like, we knew we had to win this game, that we were going to win this game, but uh, to see it all come, all come together like that is just a great feeling, uh, made even better than this being, by this being my last home game at SFU, so just, just a great feeling in general. Next year, uh, hopefully the, the Ticats, right? Yeah. What do you, can you take from this experience and really push forward in the future and bring to that next team? Uh, everything, everything I've learned here in the last five years is that like the hard work and the, and the commitment, they pay off. Uh, hard work and commitment always equal success, so 
uh, that was that was proven here today by our whole team. So uh, that's one lesson I'll take forward in life and any any endeavor later in life. SFU battles adversity and takes down the Humboldt State Lumberjacks 41 to 37. For many seniors, this is their final game of their career at SFU. The clan will be in action next in Azusa Pacific to take on the Cougars next Saturday. For SFU Athletics, this is Ben Coles.